Hello friends, welcome to BSP Solution. My name is Lokesh Gandhi. In today's session, we are going to create rework work order in Oracle Fusion Supply Chain Management manufacturing application. In our Oracle manufacturing application, it provides you a additional option known as rework work order, where the finished item must be reworked, right? A rework work order is created in manufacturing where a defective assembly from the inventory is issued to that work order and the rework operations are executed on the shop floor and the component that are defected is removed from the assembly and replaced with the new component. For example, a defective battery of a mobile phone is replaced with a new battery and return it to the working condition. Then the reworked assembly is completed in the inventory as the finished good. And uh, you can see this is the rework order process, right? So in the inventory, we have the defective assembly and we are going to uh, define this, this uh, defective assembly to the manufacturing unit, right? After defining the uh, reworked order in the manufacturing unit, we execute the rework work order, right? So first of all, we have to uh, re return the defective component. And in the next step, we are replacing the component issued, right? We are replacing the component. And uh, at the end, the rework order completed into the inventory and uh, the rework assembly is available in the finished code, in the inventory, right? So this is the process flow diagram for the rework work order. And it show how a defective assembly in the inventory can be reworked on the manufacturing floor, right? And uh, in return to the inventory after rectifying the defect, right? And it's completed as a finished code. So you can rectify and defect by removing the defecting component and uh, uh, we replace it and place in the finished code in the inventory, right? So let's move on to the application and we'll see how to create the rework work order in the Oracle Fusion Supply Chain Management manufacturing application. So this is our application. So now click on the navigator. And go to the supply chain execution and click on this work execution. Click on this task list and click on this manage work orders. Right. So click on this create drop down list and we have the option create rework work order. Click on that. Click on show more. Now we have to define the item over here. So click on the search icon in the item. And search our item. Right. So we are taking the First one, okay, right. We have to define the quantity over here. Suppose we have one quantity and we have the status on hold and unreleased. So go with the unreleased and we can define the description over here. Like uh, rework demo. And we have to define the supply sub inventory. So we have define the store is our supply sub inventory. You can also define the locator also here. And you can define the start date. You can define over here, right? And we have the supply, right? Now we have already defined the valid work definition for the item. You can see over here, this is our valid work definition. 
for the corresponding item over here, right? So let's, uh, this is our work order, item, work definition structure, and click on this save and edit. Right. So this is our general information over here. And uh, you can see this is the status, start date, this is the product information. This is our work definition information. Right. And this is the item structure, the details. Right. So these are the general information of this work order. Right. Now click on this uh, operations. So also we have assigned uh, items to this operation. We have the four operation over here. We can see this is our tablet and update testing packing. These are the operation we have already assigned to this work order, right? And you can also add more of more operations over here by clicking on this create. And let's add the code like we check the performance testing right click on add so in this way you can add more operations over here in this work order right we have the last option 50 must be count. Okay, no issue. We have count point and okay. Right. So in this way, you can define the operation for the work orders. Right. And uh, we have the item. We have also defined the items. And you can say we assign the items to the operation. You can see we define the two item in the first operation and we define the one item in the second operation, right? So let's click on this items. Right. So we can see we have the items battery, right? So this is our battery. You can see the first operation is battery and this is a a material negative issue transaction. You can see this is the negative issue transaction, right? And uh, you can see, right, we have the supply type is operation pool and click OK. And let's click on this item one in the second operation. Right. So this is our replacement of the battery. You can see this is the battery and you can replace the battery. Right. So this is a item also we are defined in our second operation. And let's one more thing. We have to define the supply type. The supply type is push okay right so these are our operations over here right now click on the general information again right so we have to save this information first so click on save now we can change the status. Suppose we are going to select the released. Right. So we save the status. Click on save. Right. So we have saved this information. Let's click on operation. Right. You can see over here. One item is issued. This is one and the process get completed, right? So 
click on this item. Right. And uh, we can see this tree also here. This is our history. This is the status from the unreleased to the release, right? And the user is SCM IMPL, right? So this is operation, this is general information, right? So click on this save and close, right? So this is our work order, click on that. So this is how you can create a rework work order in Oracle Fusion Manufacturing application. Let's open it. See, this is our work order, right? So cancel out. So thanks for watching this video. Thank you so much.